Well, greetings, everyone. Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Saturday, June the 11th. We have a special one here. This is the Pickin GNDHF 72 by 22 by Pickin. 9.57 megabytes to download. Eight slots on console, and it is a disc harrow. And thus, we will find it under disc harrows. Imagine that. And there it is, the GD, G, sorry, GNDHF 72 by 22, $25,000, 6.9 meters wide, uh, only 194 horsepower, and 15 miles per hour. Wow, okay, so we're going to test this out. Uh, they are one uh, option, you get the flat discs at the back, or the toothed discs. For an extra fifty dollars, it doesn't actually do anything. It's just, uh, just aesthetics. So, uh, interesting thing about this is, uh, as you can see, it has two: uh, a transport hitch and a working hitch. Uh, the transport hitch is a uh, a two point. Not sure what. Oh, that's a three point link. Actually, if we're gonna back up here and hook it up. I'm going to see how that uh, actually uh, attaches. So, as you can see here, kind of strange how it attaches, I guess. Weird. A little bit weird, but anyways, that's how it attaches right there uh, when uh, for transport. So, for transport, there you go. You take it out to the field. Once you get to the field, you must uh, first L1 and X unfold the disc harrow, and it does this. It puts out the um, uh, there, and then you uh, detach by pressing X, and it does that. And now you turn yourself around and hooks it up. And there we go, like so. It hooks up uh, via pin hitch. Well, a little bit strange. It is not doing anything yet. It is in the raised position, although it's going along the ground, which you would think would actually dig up the ground some. And a uh, little bit odd how this is actually kind of working. Now, L1... And if you try to fold it, it says, no, nope, folding is not allowed when you attach to this, which is a good thing because it would have gone a little bit nuts. Uh, so now you have the, uh, actually the only other option you have is lowering it with the O or the circle, L1 and circle, and then it will do that. Right, got it? Now it is lowered and it was should be uh, doing its uh, disc arrow thing. And uh, to lift it, it'll do this, and it'll do this again. If you're doing the turnaround, a turnaround in the field, etc., etc. Right. So now we have this fellow here, which is um, uh, the horsepower bumped up to exactly 200 horsepower, as this is rated at 194 horsepower. Okay, everybody follow so far. Right, so uh, we are going. Let's uh, let's go. Here we go, up to fifteen. No, seven miles per hour. Oh, wait. Um, worker, worker, do your worker magic. No, nope, seven miles per hour. So where's the fifteen miles per hour? This thing's supposed to go. Um, well, not with this tractor. And as you can see, that the the worker will raise it. So now, now, just note that there's no problem with the worker using it. As a matter of fact, they um, they handle it quite well. Um, don't miss any spots. They don't do a weird turnaround thing. Um, at least, I at least not with the non-articulated. There's well, could be occasion to use an articulated tractor. Just and you will see in a minute. So there you go. 
He's doing a fine job. It's just seven miles per hour. So I said to myself, self, uh, how about uh, uh, how about this one? This one is uh, I have this one is uh, two hundred and ninety six horsepower. It's like okay, well that should do it. Off we go up to fifteen. No. What does it get up to? 9, 10, let's go 11 miles per hour, 11 miles per hour, which is not bad. I mean, that's actually typical of a disc care. As you notice, it is a deep, it's not a shallow, it's a deep cultivation, so it's going to pull up some stones, not as many as a plow, um, and it won't create fields, it does not create fields. And apparently with a 300 horsepower tractor, no, still not doing the uh, 15 miles per hour sue and uh, and he also um, does a fine job of turning around as a matter of fact now uh, where's our other one uh, here we go so I said okay self time to kick it up a notch we got the Kloss Zirion 5000 at uh, 530 horsepower uh, we'll just set the worker off, and glory, glory, hallelujah, 15 miles per hour, we have reached terminal velocity, well, uh, maybe not quite that fast, but we have reached the maximum speed for this, and we've only had to bump it up 330 horsepower to do it. Right. And, of course, he, he does a fine job of turning around. Now, um, one last thing, as I always do, I put a drawbar on there with a uh, massively over-horsepowered vehicle and set it off and see what it does. And uh, it does go faster than it should, of course. Well, not hardly not, of course, but... It uh, it can only muster 21 miles per hour, actually, for a 700 horsepower vehicle. So, it seems significantly harder to pull than the 200 horsepower it's rated at, which is um, a little bit surprised. Not well. I can't say I'm surprised. Disappointed, perhaps, a little bit. Although, it's not terrible. I mean, it still does work. And uh, uh, the, the lower horsepower, the 200 horsepower one does pull it. It just pulls it a little slower. So, I guess, uh, I guess disappointed because it gives you that 15 miles per hour. But it doesn't tell you you're going to need a much powerful tractor to pull it that fast. Um and uh, there you have it. That is, uh, I do believe, thoroughly tested as much as I can spend time on this. Anyways, and that's the Pickin GNDHF 72 by 22 by Pickin, a 9.57 megabytes to download, eight slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye. -bye.